Oh, hi, Calvary Kids. Mr. Don here, doing a little workout. like to flex my muscles every now and then. Uh, and that's not always a good idea. Well, welcome to Popsicles in the parking lot. Uh, except we're not in the parking lot. We're in Mr. Don's home. And the reason why we're doing that is because, well, there's been some sickness. We want to keep you safe. So we decided not to meet today. But we wanted to also teach you the lesson that we wanted to share with you today. We've been learning about the fruits of the Spirit. And the fruits of the Spirit are not like actual fruits like bananas or apples or, or pears or peaches. No, they are gifts that God gives us, which helps us to live lives for Jesus, allows others to see God's love at work. Well, you know what? This is found in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. It says, But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control. He produces that in us. That is so amazing. Well, today we're going to be learning about gentleness. We've learned about what peace and kindness and goodness. Today is gentleness. So let me ask you a question. Why do you think it is better to show gentleness than to take out our anger on someone? Those are good answers. All I know is that when we choose not to be angry and sh choose to show love and compassion, kindness to other people, they see Jesus at work in us. And you know what? God shows gentleness to us every day through his love and forgiving us for our sins. Today's lesson is found in John chapter eight. And it's a story about Jesus showing gentleness to a woman who had sinned and was deserving of punishment. Jesus had been up in the Mount of Olives and he was coming down to Jerusalem and began teaching the people at the temple. And as he was teaching, there was a commotion. These men were pushing these women toward Jesus and he, he could see on her face the fear and the worry and, and the concern about what was going to happen next. And as they drew close, they began to accuse her of sinning against God. This sin that she had committed was called adultery. And adultery, well, it's like breaking your promise of loving only one man or woman in marriage. And she was choosing to love another man. She was giving her heart and body away to another person. And this broke God's heart. It was a sin. And this sin needed to be punished. And these men... Well, they were rulers of the law. They loved to keep the law. They just loved the rules. And it wasn't so much that they loved God and they were living for God. They were choosing to live their lives for the rules. And they were approaching Jesus because, you know what? They didn't like Jesus. They didn't like what he was teaching. They didn't like that he lived for God. And so they were trying to trick him into saying something wrong about God's word, the Bible. Well, Jesus knew their hearts and he wasn't going to let that happen. Jesus knew that she had sinned and what she did was wrong. But at the same time, Jesus didn't accuse her. He didn't tell her she was a bad person while well, worthy of punishment. No, he showed love. He corrected her. He forgave her. And Jesus shows that same kind of gentleness to you and I when we sin. He loves us and he forgives us. And that's how he wants us to treat other people. You know, when we choose not to be gentle, well, it's kind of like flexing your muscles. It's being stubborn and mean and angry. I'm not going to forgive you. I'm not going to love you. I'm going to do things back to you that are even more mean. I'm going to say even things that are terrible about you. But you know what? God says no. He wants us to be a gentle people so that others can see God's work in us. They might know of God's love. And so in those moments, instead of treating people well with meanness and being angry, no, God asks us to be gentle, just like his son Jesus, to pray for them, to love them, and to forgive them. That's the fruit of the Spirit that God wants to produce in us, the seed that he wants us to grow in so that we can be more and more like Jesus. Hey kids, I am so glad that I got to spend these few moments with you and teach you about gentleness as Jesus teaches us about what it means to be a gentle people. Well, I hope you guys know that we at Calvary Kids, we love you and we're praying for you. And of course, we're always looking forward to spending time with you whenever we can. Enjoy this day and we'll see you soon.
Bye now.